Let's start uh, part five, circuit analysis methods. For circuit analysis, this part is most important. So the methods we have discussed so far are useful to analyze relatively simple circuits, but not enough to handle more complicated circuits. Let's start from um, some definitions. What is node, what is essential node, what is pass, it's central. Uh, I use uh, the following page to show you those uh, concepts. At first, node. Node, by definition, is a point where two or more elements join. If we look at this uh, diagram, uh, this is a node, you have a three join there, you have this node, that is node, here's a node. Uh, essential node, a node where three or more elements are joining. If you look at this uh, diagram again, there are two essential nodes, this one and this one. Path. Path is uh, a trace of joining elements with no element included more than once. Uh, if we look uh, here, we can see here is a pass. You can't go any further as a pass. You can go to here, go to there. This is a pass, that is pass, this is a pass. Uh, you can't include uh, more than once. Fringe is a path that connects uh, two Nodes. No, this is not a very, uh, not very um, uh, clear. A path that connects two nodes. Uh, this is a node. That is node. That is the node. Uh, if you go from here through there, this, this is uh, a branch. Essential branch is a path that connects two essential nodes. This is very clear. Uh, like this uh, diagram. This uh, essential node, that is the essential node, okay? That is an essential path. This is the essential path. That is the essential path. The next uh, concept is a loop. Loop is a path whose last node is the same as a starting node. That, that means so you circle around, like here. You start from here, circle around. This is a, a loop. Uh, if you um, consider this side, you go to start from here, go to here, enter here. This is a loop. Mesh. Mesh is a loop that doesn't enclose any other loop. Right. Mesh. Uh, this is a mesh. That is a mesh. But this is not a mesh because the most outside, this include other mesh. But that, that is uh, not, uh, include other loop. So this is a mesh, that is mesh. This is not a mesh. So by this uh, diagram, I, I show you those um, essential concept. Uh, the first uh, method we discuss called the node voltage method. This is the most important. Actually, we have already learned this method when we learned uh, Kirchhoff current law. Um, uh, here in my notes, I gave you three examples to introduce uh, this uh, method. As I uh, said uh, before, uh, I don't intend to discuss uh, examples too much, too many, uh, too many examples during um, Earth synchronize uh, video. But for um, introducing this method, I have to use uh, at least one example. Uh, the following, I just uh, we just discuss uh, one example. Example one. The following circuit contain a voltage source that is here and a current source there. The task is to find, 
find out what is a VA, what is a VB. Right. For node method, we need to follow in the following steps. Step one, common ground is already defined. If there is no common ground, you need to define a common ground. But in this example, this common ground is already defined. Step two, look at T junctions, i.e. essential nodes, A and B. Assume node voltage VIVB. Look at this uh, circuit. Um, look, where is a T junction? This is a T junction, that is a T junction. Uh, if we make use of uh, the concept we just learned uh, this, obviously this is an essential node because there, there are three paths linked uh, together. And this is also essential nodes. And then we define at essential node, this is a VA, this is a VB. Now we don't know yet what, it, what uh, value those um, two voltage, but we can find out. Step three, write equations using Kirchhoff current law, i.e. current in equals current out to describe current uh, relationship. Now we look at this uh, diagram again. Here is the ground, that is the tempo. We assume this uh, potential here is a VA. So the potential difference across this uh, resistor is 10 minus VA. I divide by one, that is a current. That is a current here. Um, according to a Kirchhoff current law, this uh, current must go away. One way go here, the other way go there. So I have two paths to uh, go out from this uh, essential node. Let's consider here first, that current it's obvious we have potential difference is a VA minus VB divided by five. That is the current here. And this current, we can work out this is a VA divided by five. So according to um, Kirchhoff current law, this current in equals this equals those two, if I use uh, those two, I add together, right? Uh, that is the uh, first equation to describe this uh, circuit. Uh, that is the equation here, 10 minus VA divided by one equals VA is here, VA divided by five plus VA minus VB divided by five. That is the first equation. Now, because we have two unknowns, VA, VB, obviously we need uh, two equations. So this is a current go this way. That is a VA minus VB divided by five. There is another current coming. Let's uh, start from here. This is a uh, six N to this way. So this, uh, th there are two currents coming. Uh, this uh, the current must uh, go away from this uh, point, uh, go this way. So we know this is a six, and here is a VB, that is a VB divided by five. Now, again, we make use of uh, Kirchhoff current law. Uh, those two plus together equals this. Right? You have two currents uh, in, one current out. Now you look here, this is a VA minus VB divided by five, that is a current in. Another current go this way, this is six. Uh, you have a current out, that is a VB divided by five, uh, that equation. Now we have two equations to describe this uh, circuit. There are two unknowns, VA, VB, VA, VB. So obviously we can, uh, we can solve those are two equations, we, find, we can find out what is a VA, what is a VB. Uh, easily, we can work out a VA equals 10, VB equals 20. 
and I would uh, leave this how to derive from here from those two equations you then derive those uh, results this uh, is your homework open here and this is your homework okay there are two more examples um, how to make use of node voltage methods to analyze a circuit I uh, leave the those are two two more examples for synchronous sessions. 